Something that rings true to me is experiencing discrimination in the workplace as a person with disability. And I've had some really good experiences in terms of inclusive workplace culture and not so good experiences. The good experience was, I remember I had a role and a couple of weeks in the role, the CEO called me into their office and he simply asked the question, Katie, how are you going? And how are you settling into your role? And I wasn't sure if he knew that I had Usher syndrome and that I had hard of hearing. But he simply asked that question, is there any support you need? And, and if there is, let us know, because we can make any adjustments as you need. So the conversation was more about myself as an employee, what support did I need? So he really met me where I was in terms of a new starter and checking in, which was a great conversation. And then on the other side of that, in a similar scenario, a new starter in a role, rather than that sort of question, is there any support you need? I was asked, what is your condition? We need medical documentation. We need to ensure that your condition doesn't impact the health and wellbeing of others. There's a real difference there in the way that you can have that conversation. I think it's important that in a respectful, meaningful way and have the conversation is, what support do you need and how can we support you better in your role? It's the importance of humanity in the workplace and we just need to have conversations with people. It's not the disability that's the problem, it's the workplace that needs to ensure they can support the person so they can do their job.